You know, there seems to be a theme for these past few weeks. That's covering Russian RPGs apparently on this channel. Not too long ago, I did a video on a game called Pioneer, which is this uh, survival Russian RPG that borrows a lot of influences from the game called Stalker, which you guys might know about. There's another survival Russian RPG called Chernobylite that I did a few days ago, which also borrows a lot from Stalker as well. And now we have another game here that borrows a lot from Stalker, and that's because of Stalker 2. Are you guys old enough to uh, buy box copies of uh, PC games? Because uh, I remember buying this at Fry's Electronics, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't immediately fall in love with it because I don't do well with horror games, as many of you guys may already know, but uh, for whatever reason, I stuck with it. I kept playing it, and I just absolutely loved it. It was just a fantastic but scary game at the same time, and... Uh, yeah, I couldn't put it down for many months, and I'm so glad to finally get some news about Stalker 2, because, uh, yeah, this game came out, like, what, 15 years ago, I want to say? Uh, my, my math is uh, a little off on that, but, uh, yeah, it's finally good to get Stalker 2 after all these years. But, yeah, let's get to it. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Salam, and that's for Coffee and RPGs, where we cover the latest news, trends, and updates for the RPG gaming genre, including MMO, survival, JRPGs online, and the like. And, as always, if you guys got your coffee ready with your beverage of choice, I'm drinking coffee. As always, let's go ahead and go over this game together. Cheers to you guys. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below, as well as the bell notification right next to it. Thank you. Now, I won't go over too much of this game. I feel like this is one of those games that definitely doesn't need an introduction just because uh, of the huge cult following it has right now. And again, because of all the other sort of survival RPGs that are coming out of Russia, it just borrows heavily just so much from the original Stalker game and whatnot. Now, there's an interesting article here over at PCGamer.com and kind of goes over some of the details about this game. But the Steam page for this game, if you do plan on buying it for the PC, is up for uh, you guys to pre-order if you wish. And uh, yeah, let's go over some of the tags that they do have here. And clicking on it right here, it says Open World, which is always nice. The original soccer game was also Open World, one of the very few games uh, in its time to do so, and did it pretty well in my opinion. That I do remember. It also has FPS, RPG, post-apocalyptic, obviously, survival, shooter, single-player, action, non-linear, which I really do appreciate uh, with that one. Uh, there's, a, there's just something about RPGs that just hold your hand a little too much, and it just gets a little boring because there's nothing immersive about that. You know, there's really nothing on the line if, uh, yeah, the game holds your hand a little too much. But, uh, but anyways, uh, we also have Exploration, uh, Immersive Sim, uh, Lore Rich sci-fi story rich i don't know if they really needed to say that twice it seems like but anyways atmospheric uh, choice matters and so it seems like uh stalker 2 will have multiple endings at least that's the way i'm interpreting uh, that particular tag uh yeah yeah multiple endings does right <laughs> it's right there on the bottom uh first person cinematic and realistic and so uh just like the first one it doesn't seem like there's going to be any multiplayer features to this game looks like there's no there's um no co-op availability uh this time around because i know that's something that a lot of rpgs do these days is to at least have co-op very similar to say for example you see in genshin impact and a lot of these other games like that i covered earlier um uh, such as uh, chernobylite and uh, pioneer from the earlier videos i created and so that's a little surprising admittedly but if it does have a really awesome story and something that just really grips you and just makes you want to play even more like the first one did for me I can't really complain that um, all too much. And in terms of the price tag, the base one will cost you $60. Uh, the pre-purchase stalker for the deluxe edition will set you back $80. And the ultimate edition is $110. I'm not exactly sure what you get from that. I didn't really look into it, but uh, man, that's that's just that's a lot of cash for a game, admittedly. And without further ado, let's go over this trailer together. Finally go back to the world of uh, Pripyat. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> but anyways... The graphics look impressive. No, what's that? Готово. Ну и пошли они нахрен. Спасибо тебе. Ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. Ну, давай, малюй картину маслом. Oh, my God. 
colors are very vivid for a post-apocalyptic game in my opinion, but it still looks gorgeous. But look at the reflections on the water and the moistures on the bricks. Ну не знаю. Между аномалией и маслиной я уже лучше пулю выберу. Lots of weird creatures just like the first one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That kind of reminds me of Death Stranding for some reason. Looking for anomaly anomalies rather? Or avoiding anomalies? I have no idea what that was. Не первый год в зоне, вроде примелькалась уже, а каждый день удивляет. Зона надо есть не может. Get to the zone. Zone, I think, is what they called it in the previous game too. So I'm guessing this NPC is like a shopkeeper. You can sell items too, just like in the original game. At least that's what I'm assuming. Wow, gorgeous background. Look at that. Слышал? Вот это культура. А ты одно и то же по кругу лобаешь. Сам же просишь. That looks scary. <laughs> Brutal. Very Cold War era. Oh, yeah. That is... Oh no! <laughs> that was freaky, I will admit. Well, I'm not sure why he's wearing a mask. That's <laughs> Он этого не заслужил. А пулю заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись без его смерти? Она не могла быть свободна, пока он жил. Зато теперь посмотри на нее. Нет, Скиф. Я не отдам ее никому. Сона дала мне жизнь. Новую жизнь. Жизнь, которую я готов вернуть, если потребуется. So I don't get it. Are they refer referring to the zone as her? With the female pronoun? And like, I guess there's people who owe her, the zone, like a debt of gratitude for whatever reason, like in a religious way, I guess. I don't know. Похоже, пора. И куда ты теперь? Припять. Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. We need to talk to him. Who's him? Удачной охоты, Сталкер. April 28th, 2022? Ah, that is, yeah, pretty cool. Xbox Game Pass. So a few things I kind of want to revisit. Uh, I think one of the most interesting ones uh, so far is this little ball that he collects. It seems to have some sort of uh, life to it or some sort of weird animation. It's kind of bouncy and the uh, the way he was able to find it was uh, through a means of which like he had like um, it wasn't even a Geiger counter. You'd expect those especially in a place like this, right? But no, it's a sensor 
very similar in terms of its eeriness because it looked very similar to um, like I said before Death Stranding and so maybe um, maybe that wasn't a total accident uh, but either way there was a lot of paranormal stuff even with the first one and they're definitely carrying on that sort of uh, look and feel with the second one as well which isn't a bad thing in my opinion because like I said earlier the whole paranormal thing when that thing just showed up out of nowhere I will admit I was a little freaked out <laughs> because there were there were a lot of moments like that in the first one where you just have these jump scares especially when you're trying to like explore abandoned factories and underground tunnels and whatnot and so this scene definitely reminded me of that and going back obviously towards the uh, beginning of the trailer uh, it looks like you're gonna have some customization to your we uh, weapons which is always nice I mean it's pretty standard with a lot of RPGs these days uh, regardless of whether if you're um, using guns or swords and whatnot customization to those weapons is uh, pretty much a standard thing um, and this is no different looks like he's screwing on a suppressor of some type which uh, uh, again and just looking at the background all the rust the details it, it's just so amazing and uh, I'm not exactly sure what this graffiti says here but uh, yeah if you could understand Russian let me know what that says maybe it's significant to the plot or this uh, trailer or maybe it's an Easter Easter egg or something I don't know but uh, yeah the gameplay or the battles the the gun shootouts and stuff like that it, it was uh it's pretty standard and nothing really stuck out in my mind but either way it, it, it does look really fun i'm still very skeptical of this guy with the mask like i i really thought maybe at the end of the trailer he'd come out to be somebody who you weren't supposed to trust and ends up like shooting everybody at this little campsite i don't know but <laughs> I, I just yeah, it's, it's just it's just weird to me, but nothing happened and that wraps up today's video I want to say thank you so much for watching this trailer with me. I think uh, I'm very excited about this one uh, Again for me. I'm mostly looking forward to it for the nostalgic reasons But uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you look forward to the most Especially to those of you who grew up during the 90s and the early 2000s if you picked up a copy of this game as well because uh, Yeah, part of the reasons why we are into video games is to be able to share our memories memories together and that to me is such a wonderful and just amazing thing that we could do together here i'll definitely keep you guys posted as we get more information and again 2002 is just around a corner relatively speaking of course and so anyways i don't want to talk your ear off i'll finally let you guys go hope you guys have a blessed night and i will see you guys next time cheers again everyone